What's up Tiny Whoopers? Scott here with another set of tips and tricks. You have a whole pile of these original batteries with the 1.25 connectors on them and the original pigtail on your Tiny Whoop. But now you start hearing about this guy, the 2.0 Power Whoop. And then you start seeing about these guys. The Power Whoop connectors, HV batteries with a larger connector but you're not sure you don't want to dump all these yet and you want to keep using them or you just want to test out a couple of these well I'm going to show you how to run the dual pigtails on your tiny whoop today first thing we're going to do is remove the old original pigtail just light taps to loosen up the solder and then it'll pull right out from the bottom now I'm going to attach the power whoop connector that I originally cut to two different lengths hoping that it would allow it to stretch out evenly. So I'll just tack that on real quick. And remember, very short taps don't want to leave it on too too long you don't want to dump too much heat into the board but as you can see the black wire is a little uneven it's a little too long a little too long so I'm going to take that off Measure it out a little better this time. And then trim it, strip it. And retin it. that looks a lot better it's a lot more even so we'll move on to the top grab the stock pigtail we're just going to attach that to the to the top one of the reasons why I decided to switch them is the stock pigtail is a much smaller wire and we're going to run the camera off of this solder pad as well so having the two smaller wires sharing the same solder pad is going to make things a little easier for the installation instead of trying to fight the larger wires of the power whoop connector so I'm going to tin that over to one side and be very careful make sure you're not bridging anything and always double triple check and make sure that you're not bridging your positive and negative so that looks good and I'm going to grab the camera and just going to go ahead and attach this to the other side of the solder pad You can see it's a solder heated up. I lost the connection. No big deal. We'll just tack those both back on. And always keeping an eye on your solder and making sure nothing moves from negative to positive. I 
This is where a set of helping hands would really come in handy. Hopefully we'll have some of those later on in future videos. i got to go pick some of those up. And I'll just tack that one back on again. Give everything a nice tug, triple, quadruple check, make sure there are no bridges, all your negatives and positives say, stay separate of each other, cannot emphasize this enough, make sure they are not bridged before you do this part, double check it, a voltmeter comes in handy and make sure nothing is bridging, got the power whip plugged in, no smoke. Got the power whoop or the standard battery plugged in. Now we'll fast forward to the fully assembled tiny whoop. And just a little cable management. I like to take mine down here and wrap it behind the battery just to kind of keep it out of the way. But you can experiment with your particular setup and see which works out best for you. So I'll keep that out of the way. And then when you want to run the new connector, you can just take the old stock pigtail, tuck it up underneath your canopy, and keep it out of the way. Everything fits, everything works, and now it is time to go fly.